I've got the eye of the tiger, folks. We're in the jungle, and I am ready to beat my first episode two run. But first, we've got a gauntlet of baddies here for our warrior to take on, starting with Kristalina. Let's get right into it. I've got my ass-kicking hoodie on. Oh, it's a little warm in here with this hoodie, but I don't mind because it feels so silky smooth. Uh, Crystallize, I remember her. She ticks down from six, and each one of those is some random attack that I have no idea what it could be. Um, she's rapidly spreading and forming. It's too quick. It's, uh, what are we going to do? It's, it's taking up the village. All the children are going to die. Oh, my God. Okay. That's two fours. I think this is worth re-rolling. Because if, re if it's like a two, I'll probably put in a weaken instead. Or a five, or a six. Two, yeah. Oh, man, of my word. So we're going to weaken this bitch. Alrighty. 18 damage, we'll take that. Uh, we just used our fury, so we're pretty far away from it. On an even, she can gain a random blessing. Uh, I think that's the dodge ability. Okay, she's got random blessing, she's got healing. Um, she hasn't unlocked any attacks yet, which is just so interesting. Dodge and curse, though? It really sucks. So, here's what we're gonna do... That's still within good battle axe territory. That is is optimal battle axe. Alright, uh, we've got some really big decisions here. I think we try and draw out the curse. Mm. Alright, so that's the curse, so she's going to dodge the next one. So she's going to dodge this. And then we can still do another 16 on her. Which is pretty good. Doing that again will kill her. Okay, so she's definitely going to heal, I think I would if I were her. Ice Crystal, she can freeze me one. I think she... The AI for that character is just to unlock everything immediately. Even though her not healing is really not super wise of her. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. We'll keep that four because we want it. Uh, do we reroll the three to try and get a good taser roll? I think so. Alright, I'm fine with that. So she doesn't have dodge, but we do have curse on. Uh, let's plan this out. So a battle axe can do eight, the other one can do six. Even if the curse comes up, we should get the kill here either way. Yep. And that's due to the fact that we have three of them. <laughs> oh, we are going Zoro style. Why can't I remember the name of the three sword style? Is it Santoryu? Yeah, that's gotta be it. We're going Battle Axe Santoryu. Um, okay, so we have an item in a box here, not a mimic. Uh, detonator plus. Do one damage for every poison on an enemy. I've never seen that item before, and I feel like that is a really good item, but not for this build that we have here. Um, especially since it's small. Um, okay, so we do not need the healing yet, because that fight went pretty well. Um, but we haven't been using our taser lately, uh, so I feel like everybody can kind of guess where this is going, and uh, we're going to one-up even the man himself, Zoro. We're going to copy a battle axe and wield four of them. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've been more excited for anything in my whole life, <laughs> for <laughs> wielding four battle axes and a shovel. The question is, now we've fought Giant Woman before. Uh, she's, I believe she's from the Steven Universe fandom. Um, it's like a crossover DLC event they did with this game. Uh, she's level four. We've got the Rat King. That's funny because when I was uh, thinking, when I was first looking at him, I was like, oh, it's a fucking Rat King. Luckily, that's his actual name. He's level five. Either way, we're getting another heal. And we need to beat everybody... We're already down a little bit. Don't know what the Rat King does, though. I know she's a lot of status effects. So let's see if we can't take her out as well. And depending on our health, we might be able to go into Rat King without grabbing an apple first. We're just going to see how this works. So Rat King is an unknown. Um, okay, let's take a look. She's got her Hurricanes. She can lock me once per battle. 
Um, and then otherwise she is a mood changing, changing the weather, changing her ability, recovering three health. So she's not going to be doing a lot of attacking right away. Uh, weaken would probably be good for her. Um, so right away we're going to try and draw out the curse and put that in weaken. Totally fine with that. Because now we can reroll. Man, I need something that gives me more dice. <laughs> oh, fuck. And this is the downside to an all battle axe build. <laughs> Um, this might not be optimal, <laughs> but I'm here for it. <laughs> oh god, this is kind of hilarious, actually. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm immediately blushing because suddenly the 4 battle axe build is, like, not good. Uh, especially now, now that I'm locked 3. <laughs> locked 3 with the curse. Oh god. Um... <laughs> Okay, um, let's hope and pray is all we can do. <laughs> That's my turn, folks. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so she has to tick that down to change the weather. She's still got locks? Interesting. Well, that's really fucking annoying. Um, okay, so we're gonna... Man, we really need to get that fury in there. Otherwise, she's just gonna regenerate all the way back to full health. This would be 12. I mean, it's a 50-50 shot either way, right? But once it triggers, it's gone. I really don't like using it with the locked there. Part of me thinks we gotta take chances. Another part of me... Alright, so I could have been fine with the Fury. Um... I guess I'll keep saving it. Okay, so either way, she's probably not going to be attacking us this turn. Oh, she can't even heal because of the weaken. That's nice. Um, okay. So she changed to a thunderstorm. She's shocking me. Locked one. <laughs> Shocked is useless against me because I will just use another one of my battle axes instead. Um, okay, so we're going to try and draw out the curse. Okay with that. Let's try and reroll that to a four. There's no reason not to. Okay, um, so we're gonna do that. And then we are gonna Fury this one just because we need to use it eventually. And a three's pretty good. That'll put her at seven. I don't think I'll die this turn. Oh, she got another mood change. God damn it. Alright. Not looking good. We got three back. Sh Whoa! Oh, I forgot to change the weather even if. Even if it's not, like, done yet. Wow, she went full heals! Okay, so 16. I don't have my Fury. I got really bad rolls. However, I've got so many battle axes. <laughs> what did I just say on the last episode? Okay. Alright, try and draw out that curse. At least she's weakened one. And then we're just going to do some damage here. Alright, that's the kill. Okay, I shouldn't be worried, because I got the battle axes. I just don't want to be rolling high. Um, actually, bump would be a good one to throw in here. Um, okay, so I definitely need a heal. Do I need to do both of them, though? That's the question. So that's 8 there. Another 8 would get me 16 up to 30. Can 30 get me through two fights? <sighs> this is tough, especially since the Banshee is the only thing that has ever killed me. And I see her coming up. The question is, do I want to take out Shovel and put in Bump and... Well, that would turn a three. That would do the same thing as Bump. That would not allow me room for a five. Oh, I traded my Bump, so I don't even have it. I forgot I traded it for that battle axe. Is the, is the all battle axe thing working, or did shock really, really help me, is the question. Do I even want to go back to double taser? I don't see myself getting into a lot of situations where I am stacking sixes and fives. So I am going to replace one taser in here. 
Because as much as the idea of four battle axes really appeals to me, I don't think it's sustainable. The other big question is, do I use my other apple now? Or do I hope that the Rat King won't kill me? I think I need to hope that the Rat King won't kill me. He's a complete unknown, though. And the healing helps either way. I think I gotta... I think I gotta heal. Oh my god! Go that way. <laughs> okay. Alright. Never fought this guy before, but we're gonna do it. I hope you're just as sus in suspense. Held! Gripped in suspense as I am. Because I am ready for this fight. He's got 42 health. He got a big ol' nose! Um, three dice. Okay, so he's ticking down to just constantly throw rats at me and do some poison damage. That looks like it might be kind of rough. He's not healing, though, which is good. I feel like Weaken is going to maybe take away the extra die. So I think we want to try doing that. We're going to want to reroll some of these. All right, that's the curse. We're going to want to reroll the six. All right, that's good. Reroll the one. Reroll that. Okay, I'm happy with that. So he's weakened one, and we did 20 damage in a turn. Pretty solid start. He's going to be poisoning us, though. Poisoning us two. Oh, weaken is bad, because he'll just do the ones that he isn't weakened on. Got a new die. Wow, this is horrible. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He just comboed the whole thing. Poison six? And next turn I'm taking five? Is he gonna... Oh my god! You gotta kill the Rat King in like two turns or you're done donezo. Like, this is bad. Um... Okay, so I've got good battle axe coverage here. There's the curse. So that'll be, what, eight times three? That's the kill. Alright. I'm glad we got out of that, because that was horrible. He's a very scary man. Wow, that fight probably looked easy, but that was terrifying. And now we've got 24 health to do battle with the Banshee, which is the only creature in the game who has ever killed me. It was in this precise scenario, except instead of unlocking a shop, it was an anvil before the final boss. Um, I don't remember what she has, though, because it's been several months since I've played. The question is, is shocking her good? I think it is. Can't remember how many dice she has or effects she has. We don't have poison. Since we're low in health, do we want to toss a shield in here? Does shield bash give... Uh, excuse me. Does shield bash give me shield or just do shield damage? I think the fact that I am so worried about her, I'm getting so paranoid that I need to put this on to throw fives or threes in there for shield, or even ones, so we'll see how that works. Oh man, my heart is pounding, folks. I can't do this. She's got 50 whole ass health. Um, okay, so she can silence me on a five, she can curse me on a two, otherwise, oh, she freezes. Spatula is what I should have brought into this. Um, on a six, she can inflict a freeze. She was rolling so many sixes when I fought her with the inventor. Um, okay. One, this is not as bad, though, because I have my combat roll. Which I'm gonna want to do here. I think, actually... I need to be doing a lot of damage this turn, because she's gonna be cursing me. Um, so we're gonna try this. That's the curse. Then we're going to re-roll these puppies. Bruh. <sighs> How horrible was that? Bruh. Oh my god! R slash they did the math. Get on it. I want to know how fucked I just got. <sighs> Wished for a better turn, but whatever. Um, okay, so she's not cursing or silencing. She's going to be freezing me one... And I'm already down to only 15 health left. 
got my limit break. Don't want to use it until I must. Bruh. Have I seriously re rolled three ones in a row on combat roll? Bruh. What? What is going on? <laughs> I rolled four ones in a row. Um, okay. Let's try and get that curse out here. Boy, we're going to put this into shield, actually. Well, here's what we're going to do. That's the curse that guarantees us a shield and a fury battle axe. Okay, so we've got three shield coming in for whatever's coming. She's shocked one. She is going to be able to silence me. She's going to be able to freeze me again. And I'm down to nine health. Oh, that's actually a really good combo, because I can't reroll the freezes. Guys, I think I'm going to tie to the Banshee again! Is the Banshee just OP? Man. Alright, let's think this through. I should have brought Spatula. That's the first thing. I don't know why I'm looking at her moves. Alright, so the question is, how do I want to draw out the curse? Do I want it to be with this one shield? And then let's see, Battle Axe can't even kill her, because it'll be 16 for Battle Axe. I would need to get absurdly lucky. I think I need to be trying to do damage. Please curse. Okay, so... In order to get the win, I think I need all of these to hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And she would need to just roll super low for me to not... Man, she has four dice. Oh boy, y'all. I think I'm gonna lose... To the same damn woman. Bruh. <sighs> Alright, well at least it was the low one. Okay, she's got two fucking health. I've only got nine. That's the game. Well, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. How did this happen? How did this happen again? Banshee! You are my ultimate rival! One day, one day, I will rise from the grave and return to this jungle and bury you permanently. But until then, I'll see you next time on our future run of warrior maybe we'll try episode three who knows keep on watching to find out